Marcus, how's your tailbone? Um, sore. Uh, it's sore. Um, same spot as uh, the last time. Um, just caught me off guard the fall, um, but we'll see how I feel in the morning. Defensively, what broke down in the first half? Rebounds. I mean, they out rebounded. I think what forty-eight twenty-nine. Got a team like that, you know, who got shooters, they get second chance shots. It gives them momentum in there at home. It's a dangerous combination. So uh, just can't let guys be comfortable and, and, uh, and out rebound us like that. So that's really it. What are you seeing from them on the boards? Like, is there a specific way they're kind of attacking the glass that's bothering you guys? They go every time. I mean, that's really it. There's nothing tactical about it. It's just a matter of will, and they wanted it more tonight. And um, they go every night, and, you know, we got to be able to stop that. Um, like I said, they get second-chance shots. They get the feeling good. So um, we do a good job on our first shot defense. Just got to clean it up with the rebounds. Yeah, you went to switching everything late. It looked like it slowed Trey a little bit there. He gets off that step back in the corner there. What do you think that switching scheme did for you guys late? And could that continue to work? Definitely. Uh, we got enough versatile guys out here that can guard multiple positions. Um, they made some tough shots, you know. Um, as we knew they would, you know, um, they're back in front of their crowd, they're back home. Um, get that little extra boost when you're back home. So uh, we just got to do a better job of continue to make things tough for them. You know, you tip your head off and move on to the next one. During a timeout late in the second quarter, it looked like you were pretty passionate uh, trying to get your guys going. What, what was the message there? What were you seeing in the court at that moment? Why did you think it was pretty important? Just keep going. Um, just keep going. You know, we took a run. Um, from those guys, and uh, we handled it pretty well. And I just wanted my guys to know that don't get discouraged. You know, uh, they're going to make a run. We're going to make one. Just got to stay with it. Um, the Joe kind of pointed to the second quarter as where they kind of did you guys in. Is there, there a lesson in that kind of how even a stretch early in the game can kind of impact things the rest of the way? Definitely. Uh, like I said, you give guys confidence and win the NBA. You know, got a lot of players in here, and they're, they're here for a reason. So we give guys confidence. At home, get get moments like that, and uh, and he came back to bite us in the butt. I think during the same time out, like you're kind of like almost explaining to Sam like how to kind of avoid fouling stuff like that. Like, what is the level of intricacy and detail you have to have to guard guys like Trey and Murray in these huge crunch time moments? They make you think. You know, they they do a good job of uh, putting the defense on their toes, attacking the defense, and uh, you know, really making you uh, have to get down and guard. And, and you know, we know with Sam that they're going to try to attack Sam as much as possible. So just trying to give him tips to, to, to keep himself out of foul trouble. And he's been doing a great job. Like on Nelly tonight where they had so many contested shots that they hit, how important is it, I guess, at this stage? It's like it's not just about staying in front of them. It's about like not letting them get to that spot because you know they can still hit that shot. Right? Yeah, I mean, they got to their spots. And they, like you said, they hit some tough ones. We will live with tough shots. You know, if we can get a contest and they make it, then they make it. Um, like I said, that's it. That's really it. I mean, you make everything as tough as possible, and if they make it, then they make it tip your hat off and go on down to the next play. Marcus, obviously you guys kind of had your way those first two games. Sure, you saw everybody saying, oh, this is going to be be a sweep. How, how much is this kind of a reminder that to get to where you guys ultimately want, there's going to be challenges like this, and it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be easy? I mean, we, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. Um, you know, that's why we let the outside noise continue to talk for us. Uh, was our focus. We came in with a game plan. They did too, and they executed. And they hit some shots to uh, to really get them over board. So uh, you know, it could have been a sweep, but we ain't talking about that. It's one game at a time. We came out to play tonight, and we lost. So we got to come back and play again. Follow a couple questions. Offensively, were you all happy with the shots you had? Oh yeah, we were proud of them. We those are shots we look for. Those are shots we want. We missed them. They made theirs. Game. Marcus, one thing you guys have seemed to do very well in the whole series is shoot from three points. Uh, what's been the key with you guys being able to get uh, such a good shooting percentage from three? Um, just our decisions at the rim. Um, we got a lot of guys who can knock down a three, and uh, especially our bigs, and we're finding those guys and being able to, to find them. You know, Al has been doing this for a very long time, and, and that's what he does. He bails us out when we need it. And then you got Grant coming in as well doing his thing, and uh, we just got to continue to find the open guy and take what the defense gives us. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, guys.